first found out about Gordon's paintings when I was contacted by uh, his uh, uh, granddaughter who uh, asked me whether I could provide studio space to store his work. Um, I then met up with Jo, Gordon's daughter, and eventually I went over to Gordon's studio and had a look at the work. His life's work, his life's obsession was his art, his drawing, his painting and um, he was completely immersed in that all his life. I came across Gordon Snee one Sunday afternoon when I was traipsing around Sheffield looking for a picture for my house. I looked at loads of pictures in uh, this open studio day and right at the end of the day came across exactly what I was looking for because I had a big wall and what I thought I needed is a two meter by one meter, something big and bright and bold to make that wall live. And I walked into a room and there were scores of them, scores of these extraordinary, bold, vibrant, abstract pictures, all as it happened the right size for my wall. Uh, educational tool, um, particularly to sort of give something back if it's possible um, and move those opportunities um, back to people who, like my dad was, are not likely to have those opportunities, particularly at a time when um, creative education is being um, sort of sidelined um, out, of, out of the system. Um, so to create opportunities using dad's work for young people to explore their own creativity, uh, that's really important to me as well. The most significant thing is that I think it charts an artist's life throughout the second half of the 20th century um, from start to finish and to see that the way in which the work has moved and changed throughout time and grown and its, its effect over the years is, is immense. And big and proud and vibrant and they do not look like someone's private fantasy. They're pictures that are made to be seen. They're pictures that are not of a recluse. I find that difficult to understand. I'm still trying to work it out. Being given this opportunity to preserve this legacy is a huge privilege and an honour for me, uh, especially as an artist, to, to hopefully to be able to bring Gordon to the wider public and, and to secure his place as he should be uh, seen amongst some of the great abstract artists in the second half of the 20th century. I think art meant everything to him. I think it was, um, that's, I think that's really hard to describe. It was his being, I think. I don't think it was, it wasn't something, I mean obviously it was something he did, but, but really it wasn't, it was who he was.